I'm Dan Gooding and this is the West Bridge Wire Property Market Update Spring 22. What a crazy start to the year it's been and it's only just April. So at the start of this year it was all upbeat, uh, the end of Covid and no more lockdowns. But since then it's all taken a slightly different turn. So where we are now, in April we're facing a massive cost of living crisis with rising fuel prices, food prices and of course rising inflation. The pressure on people's wallets has never been felt more acutely. With Putin's invasion of Ukraine at the end of February, it's made the situation even more severe, with pressure on global food and fuel supplies. So all this is of course incredibly depressing. So what effect is this having on the property market? Well, surprisingly, not much effect at all. On a national picture, the price of property coming to market has hit new record highs for the third consecutive month, up by 1.6%. All regions across all market sectors are now recording new price highs for only the second time since 2007. Properties are selling faster than ever, twice as quickly as 2019. And the last three months, price jumps of over £19,000 is the largest seen in any three-month period since records began. 53% of properties are selling over the full asking price, and sales agreed are 21% higher than they were in 2019. I've never known a year where from week, one week to the next, your opinion changes so massively. People are quite right to sort of have a bit of a panic with yeah, rising, rising cost of living prices, rising inflation, all of that. But, but property seems to just keep going month on month and people haven't lost any confidence at all. The biggest factor, as always, is that it's the lack of stock that's driving it. You know, people want to move, there's not much to move to. People then fight over the same properties and that pushes the prices up. Um, and that's a huge factor here in West Bridgeford, definitely. So this of course is the national picture and for hotspots like West Bridgeford, the time to sell and the percentage of asking prices achieved is much higher. Interestingly, the East Midlands is one of the highest performing areas nationally with increases since 2019 of 12.5% a year. As an agency, 70% of our properties are achieving over the asking price and with an average time of selling just three weeks. On average, we are getting about 20 viewings for each property we put on in West Bridgeford. But two properties this month really stand out as we got over 40 viewings on each property. Both properties, of course, went to best and final bids and both have achieved over 10% over the guide price, which is an incredible result. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, um, we have got three months before the schools break up. And generally what we find is that the good time to put your house on the market and get lots of viewings and sell it for a good price tends to be um, when the kids are at school. We've now got three months until sort of July when the kids break up. Demand is high, interest rates are low still, mortgages are cheap. Um, a lot of people do have money which they've saved during the pandemic on not going on holidays and things like that. A lot of people wanted to do extensions to the house and couldn't find a builder so they've got the money saved up and they can use that now. It feels like it's a great time now if you are thinking of selling um, and maybe it won't be such a good time later on in the year. We know that int interest rates will creep up to combat inflation and therefore mortgages won't be as cheap as they are now. So, it, 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 you know, it, if anything, it's not going to get any better from this point. <laughs> So lots of positive stuff, but the big question of course is how much longer can this last for? Thanks for watching and if you're thinking of buying or selling in West Bridgeford, please do get in touch. Mm -hmm.